Oak branch with leaves and acorns, these are the nubs. As you can see, they look like little nubs. The whole point is to give a place for the leaf stem to go into. And then with the liquid solder becoming solid, holding it. So all they are, are just little like quarter inch, quarter inch long by, um, well, quarter inch round stock, welded onto the branches and then drilled. They also drilled big enough to get several stems in. The thing about this is, if you're going to solder, at least it seemed like it worked best this way, was if you're going to solder them, drill them and solder them relatively soon. And that way the, there's no oxide that builds up on the inside of that steel. And as long as no oxides build up, when you heat that up, if you can see the inside color, you know, like when you're just coloring a piece of steel in the fire it'll go through those oxide changes and when it gets to about a, a blue and then it starts to, to just get a little past blue you know it's warm enough to melt that solder so it's really just wait for the color change <clears throat> stick the solder in and push it and watch it just wick itself right up the walls and then fill it completely full it's got to wick up the walls or it's really not a secure way to hold it and it does have to be free of oxides or you'd have to clean it somehow uh, I think uh, the total time in doing all this was probably no more than say a half hour or so so the oxides didn't have a chance to build up Right now, I'm, I think, over tinning some leads. So you can see where, where I used the welding rod to kind of add bulk to the crotches. And I think in a few places, I just made some random touches with it just to, just to give it a little surface irregularity. The key is keeping it clean. I don't know if, if the camera will pick it up, the color change. I don't even know if if I soldered it in that position. It's kind of hard to solder that, that, that close to the jaws of the vise. They tend to suck the heat out too quick. Some silver bearing solder. Um, not acid core though. That's that's kind of important when you're dealing with copper. Oh, and also notice the leaf stems. Um, originally, I had some that were braided. Uh, I, I took I took some um, stranded copper wire that I had. And at some point, I discovered some solid core copper here, some solid copper. So I decided to use that instead. So I unsoldered what I had done and uh, went with the solid. It's a lot stiffer. See that hole? Uh, no, that's not the hole, is it? But I saw that, see that color change, and that's, that stuff just wicks right up the inside.
kind of neat too because as you do that the pressure from the hot interior wants to force that solder out so it'll form a bubble until it, it gets to a cool point and then it kind of shrinks back down in now now both the hole and the the leaf stems are tinned so it should make a quick connection the problem is you got to let it cool that steel stays warm pretty long and a couple times here I took my hand away too quick and broke the solder connection or didn't trust the solder connection So give it lots of time and cool it down with a wet rag. Blow on it. I, I broke that connection already. Remelt it. You know, the funny thing is that blacksmith's goop that I put on it to, to originally color everything black held up incredibly well and I don't know if it's because afterward I also threw on some of that um, black blackish darkish brownish whatever furniture polish it's supposed to be pretty tough stuff I wish I knew the name of it If I were going to do this again, I probably would have cleaned up all the branches first so that I wouldn't have to do it and try to avoid cutting or breaking the leaves off. Move the schmutz around. I just wish I had a way to knock that off without affecting anything else. Keep your solder out of your heat. I know it's, sometimes it's it's hard to do. You get to focusing on something and you just want to stick it in there. When you get that hot enough, you won't need to put the torch on the solder. problem with all doing it like that is you tend to forget where where you were just at and the temperature is still hot and you touch it with your elbow or your forearm you remember really quick
I see a mistake I made. It probably wouldn't have happened in nature. But... I think it's something that nobody but an arborist is going to care about. I don't think the nub, that last nub I was working on, I don't think it would have been that close to the crotch of that branch. I think it would have been out further. I tried to copy somewhat from the, the master branch I had, but at some point a lot of the leaves had fallen off. Shove them in there. Take a damp rag, cool everything off pretty quick. Well, quicker than having to redo it. Pretty quick video, just trying to explain the nubs. You could also just put a plop of weld down and drill through that if you wanted to. Thanks for watching.